Tommy, not a great result for us out there this afternoon. What do you think went out went wrong for us? Almost everything. Um, in a defensive, you know, uh, sense. Just, you know, I felt their ball carriers ran past our defenders, and I don't mean just the back line, all over the pitch. Um, we lost individual battles. Um, and it, it's a strange game. I mean, Jordy made an unbelievable save after a minute, yeah. just after we should have scored uh, to go one up. Um, and so we were warned about the lad coming in off the right-hand side with his left foot, but we allowed him to come inside again and he splattered one in, a, in for the second goal, I think. I mean, the first goal, you've got to pat the lad on the back. Yeah. People will say the goalkeeper, it's not, it's not the goal. It was a bit of class from the lad. Um, yeah, I mean, at 3-0 down, you know, you're thinking, wow, this could go really, really pear-shaped. Um, but in fairness to the group, they, they, they got themselves back in the game. And I think had the game not had a half time, we'd have probably gone on and yeah. at least got, got back level. So that didn't happen. We did stress to them at half time. We needed to keep our foot on the gas. Um, but I don't know, just collectively, I, don't, I thought we were mentally weak um, and physically ran over. I mean, we had a, we've had a hell of a lot of the ball and we've had a hell of a lot of ball in and around their goal. But we just haven't, haven't done enough. When you concede goals in the manner that we did today, you can't. We can't really expect to win football matches, so I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed for the, the people that made the tre trek up here. Um, I understand their frustrations, but ultimately, you know, we've got to get back on the horse and get down, get down back to the, the EBB for next weekend. A 3 0 in the first half, that was probably quite harsh on us, yeah. really. Yeah, and I know. We then obviously scored the two to mm. get it back. Mm. Is it quite upsetting that we then didn't put, build that momentum in the second half, come out the same in, uh, in that yeah, sense? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I, I, at half time, I'd have said, our dressing room would have probably been more buoyant than theirs, yeah. despite the fact we were we'd, because we'd we got ourselves back a, a foothold in the game with the way we want to do things. Both were tens got through and, and finished well. Um, so yeah, it was frustrating. It's very, it's very rarely as a manager you watch and you think there's about six or seven of the lads just having days where their touch isn't quite there or their passing's just off or their timing's off. And we did have that today. And like I said, I've never named people publicly. I never singled them out. Um, but they're lads who've been, you know, fairly consistent for us. So it's really disappointing there. Like I said, the fact that we're, what, 250 miles up the road makes it worse, and I understand that. Um, but we've got to dust ourselves down. We've got to get, you know, back in the race. Two changes with Theo coming back in the side, but obviously the big one is Geordie coming yeah. in. I know we've said before, haven't we, in, in interviews and, and in pre-season that we've got three very good keepers, and I know you, you've mm. always said you'd be happy to pick yeah. all, all of them. So was that a case today? It, well, I made a decision early in the, in the well, towards the end of pre-season, actually, that I was going to always play Marcus uh, the first 10 games. I've spoke to both goalkeepers about this, um, so they knew. Um, and what I, what I decided, I'll let him go a little bit longer because the fixtures changed. The games I had in mind for Geordie, um, one was supposed to be on the 1st of October, but got cancelled, um, this one and the next one. That's, and I, I wanted to do that. It was something I'd made my mind up, irrelevant to where we were, or what we were doing on the pitch. Uh, Marcus understands that. Um, Geordie's been very patient, like you said. Whether it's Marcus, whether it's Geordie, don't care who's in the goal. Yeah. When you've got you know, that kind of defending going on in front of you, not just by the back lads, by everybody, you know, he's, he isn't really to blame or anything. So from that point of view, it's like, what a horrible day for him to come into the yeah. side. You know, he's, he's been very unfortunate, but you know, I thought he conducted himself very well. He's, he's as good as anybody else is, and Marcus is a good at, is as gutted for Geordie as he would have been had he been in the goal himself. It's, it's obviously going to hurt a bit this week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've got the FA Cup next week. Is yeah. that a good opportunity to... to... I, I remember last season, but it was the second game in the FA Cup, we had a really awful performance at Dorking. Um, so we've got to dust ourselves down. You know, we want, to, we want to progress in the competition. We're playing in next week, which is different to the league. Um, we all know what you can to get out of it, like, like we did last season. So, you know, I'm, I'm no different to that. This this will hurt. It'll hurt all the way home. We'll not get home till tomorrow morning now. Um, but you've got to be resilient. I've got to be resilient. I've got to be the guy who rejuvenates the group on Monday morning, um, and I'm sure I will be. Uh, but right now, it's hurting me as much as it's hurting everybody else.